Hi guys, it's ASPYT and in this video I'm going to be going over the top 5 VPNs to use in 2022. Now with the advancements in technology, VPNs are becoming increasingly more important in our everyday lives. Whether that be for your security, to avoid being hacked when you're using public Wi-Fi for example in pubs, hotels, restaurants, or to stop your internet service provider or the apps you use from collecting and potentially selling your data, or even being able to access country specific apps or content within those apps like Netflix etc, this is where a VPN comes in handy. A VPN simply reroutes your traffic through a point of your choosing so that your IP address remains hidden and online activities private. Now obviously there are hundreds of different VPNs to choose from and I haven't tested all of them but I have gone over the vast majority of all of the most popular ones and in today's video I'm going to be going over which ones I personally would recommend for core values such as security, price, ease of use and overall user experience and much more. I'll also suggest some ways that they miss the mark so if these specific things are deal breakers for you, you know up front before going in. All VPNs discussed today will be listed and linked in the video description below with the best possible prices around right now and any special discount codes. So let's check out the first VPN and thanks to Otterbox for sponsoring today's video. So the first VPN on the list and remember these five are in no particular order is WeVPN and straight away in terms of price this is a brilliant option as you can get it from as little as just over two dollars a month on a long plan and you also have a 30-day money-back guarantee policy so if you're unhappy with the service for any reason you can get a refund no problem. Another reason why I love using WeVPN is for its easy use of its applications which are available on nearly every platform you can think of iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS and on all of your popular browsers, smart TV platforms and consoles. They've even dropped an app on Huawei's app gallery if you're a long-term Huawei smartphone user and want to stick by them in the post Google services world. Talking of the world, the number of server locations with WeVPN isn't the highest on today's list and this is something that they could definitely look to increase, but most of the top cities and countries are included and the speeds you can get are pretty darn good. Here is a live speed test starting without WeVPN connected and as you can see we're getting speeds of around 30 to 40 download and 10 upload. That is unfortunately about just as much as we can get here, I live in the country it's not great, but you'll still be able to see whether it throttles my connection or not and, and by how much. And as you can see, when we do connect it up, we get pretty similar speeds. So they've done a really good job here. One thing to note, there does appear to be a, a fair amount of permissions that the different applications need when you sort of actually start to use them. This is something they could potentially look at. I'm not saying there's necessarily anything untoward going on and there have been, as far as I'm aware, no data leaks thus far. And they do have a pretty substantial no logs policy. Uh, so it's looking pretty good from an anonymity, from an anonymity, from an anonymity, I've said it that many times, I've, it's lost all meaning. Good for those looking for anonymity. The support is excellent in my experience. You have a live chat option and a help center, which is a kind of frequently asked questions section, using with certain streaming applications, torrenting, and much more. And speaking of streaming, in my experience, they have been pretty up to date in keeping on top of potential blocks coming in from the likes of Netflix, for example, as Netflix have regional specific content that they try and keep like that. VPNs obviously are a way to get around that, but it is a constant battle for those companies. We VPN state that they are compatible with over 400 streaming services, including said Netflix, but also things like Amazon Prime, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, etc. Within the applications, you can customize settings to suit your preference, including whether you want to auto connect, use the kill switch feature and keep the VPN connected when, as an example, your phone goes to sleep. You also have a feature called WeBlock for blocking ads, malware, trackers, and you can also choose which protocol is right for you. Now, before we jump on, here's a quick word about today's video sponsor, Otterbox. So in this box that they've kindly sent across, we have a whole ecosystem of protection accessories specially designed for your smartphone and Xbox gaming products. So firstly, here we have an iPhone 13 Pro Max case and screen protector. Of course, it isn't just iPhone protection available in the smartphone space. It's Samsung, Google, OnePlus, etc. as well. And we have an accessory section, an outdoor section, a custom section, and of course a gaming section on the website where the rest of these products on the table reside. Here we have some really cool power swap controller batteries, which if you're an Xbox user, you'll know the pain of reaching for a new set of batteries for your controller only to find out you've got none left and your batteries that are in there are currently dead. With these, you're able to charge one with the included dock whilst using the other and using their quick release feature, swap them out with one hand when they're dead, the first of its kind. And don't worry about having to resync the controller to reserve energy as reserve energy cells sustains controller power while you swap. 
you can charge each battery individually also with LEDs showing you charging status and battery life and there's an illuminating low battery alert so you get the heads up if you need to switch soon. Each battery provides just over 10 hours of playtime and all this means is that you have a continuous wire free experience. We also have a hard protective controller carry case which can stop your controller from getting damaged in transit. Again, meaning if you want to keep the game alive, continuing to play after you leave the house, by connecting up to your smartphone, you can. With the additional aid of this mobile gaming clip here, you can easily secure your phone to your controller and once paired, can use it for all of your actions. Otterbox also offers this unique grip for your controller, which with its two sets of swappable pads, offers a sweat reducing, no slip experience, and the case is really nice and slim, so it still feels really natural. So a lot of these Otterbox products here are a great way to fuse the gap between console and mobile gaming. And from protection to portability here, you have an ecosystem that allows for gaming pretty much anywhere, anytime. Whether that would be with friends at home or on the go when you're ready to get the in-game pulses racing you can hit the desired heights so the second vpn on the list is surfshark now originally it wasn't the most cost effective vpn in fact often it was slightly more expensive than some of its competitors however i have managed to get a special christmas deal available for you again using the link below which if you click on gives you the option to get a long-term plan for just one pound 62 a month with a four month completely free deal and that is really, really competitive. I'm not sure how long that offer is available for. So if you're interested right now, I would go through definitely and check it out and potentially get it if you want to get Surfshark. But as always, I will constantly update these links anyway with the best possible prices around. But if the price works for you, why should you get Surfshark over another one? Well, the first thing I like is like WeVPN, their applications are so simple and easy to use. If you don't want to search for a server location, you can simply press connect and it picks what it thinks is the most suitable one. You can scroll through the different locations though if you want to be more specific. And again, you have an auto connect, a kill switch, including an Android native one, an ad blocker and a whitelister if you want certain apps or websites to be able to bypass the VPN. The app could be slightly more eye-catching. It is, some would say, a little bit dull maybe, but I'm sure most people won't be that bothered about a VPN's exper experience appearance when choosing which service to go with. Another thing I like is the fact that this VPN is available on an unlimited amount of devices per account. So you can literally link it up to every single device that you want a VPN on, all under one account for as little as under $2. Surfshark doesn't offer DNS controls or port forwarding, unfortunately, but you do have split tunneling, AES-256 encryption, a camouflage mode where even your internet service provider can't tell that you are using a VPN, and it has had an independent audit on its browser extensions with a conclusion that read, Cure53 is highly satisfied to see such a strong security posture on the Surfshark VPN extensions, especially given the common vulnerability of similar products to privacy issues. You also have a feature called One, which bundles together a full-scale incognito browse mode, an alert function for possible security risks on your emails and passwords, etc., and an antivirus scanner, which is great to see, although this is an additional subscription. You would have to pay extra for this. A little bit of a shame it's not included, but it is there nevertheless if you want it. Surfshark works well for most streaming services. It's not foolproof, and often if there is a new issue with Netflix, for example, they will share the information on the website and that they're working to fix it. How quickly they fix the individual problem is up in the air, um, but there is a live chat option available as well if you are struggling. That is nice to see. Again, we'll do a live speed test. And as you can see, the numbers that we're getting are very, very competitive for downloads and uploads in relation to the speeds that I can acquire. If you're getting five, six, seven, eight hundred, then uh, this will look pretty slow. But again, this is all I can get here. Speaking of speeds, the third VPN on the list, ExpressVPN, is one that has been very, very reliable for me and I predominantly have used it for its speeds over the last few years. And again, it doesn't disappoint. The app itself is not the best. It's fairly plain and there isn't a huge list of features. Smartphone app I'm talking about, of course, if you go on the uh, desktop version, for example, and this runs across all of them again, you will usually get more features there. But even on the smartphone apps, it has all of the main things that you need. You've got an IP checker, so you can guarantee your IP and location are hidden first before you do anything, a random password generator, auto connect and internet access setting, and you have split tunneling, which is where you can give permission to certain apps to have direct access to the internet, while others will send their traffic through the 
VPN at the same time. ExpressVPN are also famed for being one of the first companies to manage to unlock content on Netflix. So if you are into your streaming, Express is again another very good choice available on Amazon Fire TV products, Apple TV, Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, Samsung Smart TVs, browser extensions, and more. So really well catered for. Although as good as its five possible devices available for one account is good, it's not the same as Surfshark's Unlimited. For example. Now, the fourth VPN on the list is um, uh, I'm split on, if I'm being completely honest, because TorGuard is one of the most feature rich and privacy secure VPNs going. But I'm not a huge fan of the design and usability of its applications. It can be hard work. If you're a dab hand at all things tech, you'll be completely fine. But if you are a new user and you're coming into this world of VPNs sort of uh, early doors, then even changing something as simple as a password can become quite a laborious task. Instructions are limited and poorly thought out. And I really wanted to love using this VPN for all of its benefits, but sadly it's not the case. There isn't, as far as I'm aware, a live chat feature if you're having problems but filing a support ticket does usually give you a helpful response in a quick time. Pricing also isn't the most competitive. They tend not to offer too many deals, etc. Obviously, if you went for the longer term plans, this is pretty affordable, but there are far more companies that offer cheaper products. Having said that, if those first two points don't make you run for the hills, then this VPN is great. Using it for streaming works really well. The speeds are some of the best in the industry, but TorGuard really comes into its own when we turn to security. On top of WireGuard tunneling protocol, the customizable settings offer support for always on VPN, auto connect, auto login, restricted apps where you can include or exclude apps from sending traffic through the VPN, and a prevent clicks feature where clicks can be rejected if the app in question is obscured by another. There are only a small amount of permissions that TorGuard needs as well for the service to function, something that some others can't match, and no third-party cookies and ad trackers have been found either. The desktop app, like I mentioned earlier, as with most VPNs, does offer more features on top of these with network and proxy options, for example. All in all, it just does most things pretty well indeed. Decent amount of server locations and great speeds as well, as you can see by this test here. To be honest, as I said, I generally get pretty great speeds from all of the services on this list, including the fifth VPN, which is NordVPN, and one of the best speeds, again, available for a VPN service. Six devices available on any one account for, again, as little as $2.34, I think, and one month free, again, using the link in the video description. For that, you get over 5,000 servers, no logs, live chat support, and WireGuard for top speeds. You also have a kill switch, quick connect, and things like Onion over VPN, where you get the advantages of the Onion router combined with a VPN tunnel. Great for streaming, and there is a live chat feature again as well. Although support times, if you file a query, aren't quite as good as some others that I've experienced. It's a popular VPN with tons of clients, but I think they could do better. NordVPN often have special deals on their service. These deals often change, but I will keep the description updated with the best available. NordVPN is one of the best VPNs for those that need something nice and simple to use. Applications are really well laid out and you really shouldn't have any problems. Now, according to reports, there was a data breach back in 2018 with NordVPN where one of their servers was hacked. The problem, as far as I understand, was identified and fixed. And since then, they have gone above and beyond to rectify that trust amongst the general public. And so far, so good as far as we know. Just something to know. So in my opinion, pretty much 95% of all of you will be more than happy with any one of these five that are on the list today, but certain people may prefer one feature over another, different price brackets, etc. So I definitely recommend trying these services first. I think all five of them have money back guarantees. Um, so if you're not happy with any of it, then you can just get your money back straight refund, no problems. Um, use the links, get your discounts, and if you're not happy, get your money back. Also, make sure if you do choose a VPN, uh, you check when the renewal is for that specific contract because often, like with loads of different things, they may tweak the prices and make it more expensive as and when you come to an end and it doesn't auto renew. If you've got an auto renew feature on yours, um, you might be better negotiating a new price or um, canceling it, starting it again, etc. cetera. Um, otherwise the roll-on will be probably more expensive for you. Um, see, there you go, I'm always looking out for you.
save those bucks, eh? Or pounds. That's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these five VPNs. Which one do you use out of them? Or do you use another one? And what do you like about them and why? Like and share if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Share it with your friends and family if they need a VPN and want to know more about the what each of these services can do. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and love everything tech, news, unboxings, reviews. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Just what you want.